Welcome to Activism Munich. I'm Zen Raza from Munich, Germany. Today we're joined by Chris Hedges in our show called Longing for 1984, which deals with government surveillance, foreign policy, both in economic and uh, military aspects, and the role of activism. Chris Hedges is an American journalist, activist, best-selling author, and humanitarian. In 2002, when Chris was part of the New York Times, he was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for his work on global terrorism. He also received the Amnesty International Global Award for Human Rights Journalism in 2002. Some of his best-selling books include Death of the Liberal Class and Days of Destruction, Days of Revolt. Chris Hedges, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Chris, uh, last year Edward Snowden uh, revealed uh, through his leaks, NSA leaks, that Germany, out of all U European member states, was highly, the, the most surveilled country, um, in, even though it's an ally of the United States. Um, we do know uh, that Germany has the highest rate of non-governmental organizations that operate out of the state capital system and given our history is quite active in asserting public pressure. So um, what do you think the connection is why Germany is uh, surveilled on such a heavy way? And what lessons can you give us from history that could shed light on this issue? Well, a huge percentage, as Snowden has pointed out, of this mass surveillance is carried out on behalf of corporations. So while Germany may be an ally of the United States, corporate espionage uh, is carried out uh, against German corporations. And uh, any groups that are organizing, we've seen this within the United States with innumerable groups uh, that are attempting to organize at a grassroots level to thwart the predatory nature of unregulated capitalism are uh, heavily monitored and I don't know about Germany but certainly within the United States infiltrated uh, and we have seen since the forced uh, evacuation by the government, by the Obama administration of the Occupy encampments that Occupy activists who of course communicated electronically uh, during the Occupy movement uh, because of that surveillance have been effectively singled out and charged with felonies, um, you know, almost none of which they actually committed and then forced by the government to accept plea deals where they are put on probation for five years uh, but that neutralizes their activism because if they get arrested again or picked up by the state again then they have to serve that full felony sentence which can be up to seven years um, so uh, you know in a way within our system of what the political philosopher Sheldon Wollen calls inverted totalitarianism or corporate totalitarianism the enemy is everywhere uh, it's competing corporations it's uh, movements that uh, seek to question uh, this rapacious rape of the planet uh, and the uh, disenfranchisement of the working class uh, to consolidate wealth into a, a, a narrower and narrower uh, group, uh, you know, a corporate, a global corporate elite. Um, so I'm not surprised at all that, that Germany has heavy surveillance. Given this picture that you've drawn, um, then solutions are warranted right now. It's the only way out, I guess. Uh, what mechanisms are available for the public in order to change course? Well, we, you know, I mean, every climate change report that comes out is more dire than the last. Um, we have a very small window. I mean, we're not going to halt, of course, at this point, the effects of climate change. The question now is whether we are going to even survive as a species. Um, none of the established mechanisms of power, none of the established institutions of power, uh, no matter what political party is uh, in control, has shown uh, any, uh, you know, uh, inclination to halt uh, this death spiral uh, that animal agriculture, uh, and which is huge, uh, contributing factor to uh, global warming, along with the fossil fuel industry, you know, these the primacy of the profits of these industries come before the health and well-being of of the human race and of the uh, 
you know, the planet itself. Um, so the only hope we have is to build sustained mass movements uh, that engage in uh, civil disobedience. Um, I'm not naive enough to tell you that it's going to work, uh, but to somehow trust, I think, in the structures of power at this point, and the Obama administration is a pretty good window into how bankrupt those power structures are, is very naive. Chris Hedges, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And that is all from the team in Munich. I'm Zen Reza. Thank you for joining us.